there. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're still in quarantine. It's almost Easter though, so we're looking forward to this weekend. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, depending on when you watch this, it's probably not Easter for you or it already passed. Um, all right, well today we're going to do again some cardio exercises, strengthening exercises, and this week we're also focusing on basketball. Again, you do not have to like basketball in order to like these the, the different drills that we're doing. Uh, let's go ahead and start with our warm up, which I'm sure you all know by now. So we're starting with arm circles for four, three, two, and one to the front, five, four, three, two, and one, take it back, five, four, three, two, one, and forward, five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's reach down and touch your toes with the opposite hand, stretching our what muscle? Quads. Hamstrings. Hamstrings, the back of our leg. On the top is our hamstring muscle. And now let's give our knee a big hug, stretching our glutes. I heard that one of my friends from Texas is watching this video. So hello Elise and your brothers and sisters. Actually, I think you just have brothers. So hey Elise. All right, let's do a quadricep stretch. Grabbing that foot, you should feel the stretch in the front of your leg. Good job, keep going, let's do two more. Now let's do our glute stretch where you pull up on your ankle. Again, you should feel this right here and like the side of your glutes. All right, let's do our runner stretch with a rotation. So go down like you're gonna start a race and rotate, and then switch legs. Hi. <laughs> Since this is day two, we have four different exercises for you today. Good. So we're gonna start with our strengthening exercises. <laughs> you got that? <laughs> Uh, the first one's a sea turtle. Sea turtle sounds like a ton of fun. It is kind of fun. You're going to be on your stomach. I'll have you. I'll have you guys demonstrate. Are you good to do this with your shoulder? You can try it. If not, then. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll I'll do this with Julia. So you're going to get on your stomach. You're going to put your arms overhead and your upper upper and lower body is lifted, and then you're gonna take it out and in. So legs go out, arms go out at the exact same time. So we're gonna do that for 10. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. One and two. Squeezing the glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. We look just like sea turtle, right? All right, arm circles. So keep your arms straight and press down on your shoulders so that they're not up here. And then we're just going to circle to the front. Here we go. Go. Circle into the front. You can do this standing or on your knees. Nine, ten, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep them up and go backwards. Back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, now we're gonna work our legs. This one's kind of fun. You're going to be balancing on one leg and your lower and uh, sorry, your lower and your upper body are going to move at the same time. So as my upper body is going down, my lower body is going up. So it's kind of like a seesaw. All your body weight's in this stabilizing leg, 
and it's really working the hamstring and the glutes. So we're going to do eight on each side. So you guys want to try? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And go. One. Kind of a hard one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Other side. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four more, three more, two, and one. Good. That takes a lot of balance. It's a great one to practice. If you didn't quite get it, not a problem. Just keep practicing it, and then we will also be repeating it two other times this week. Okay, the last new exercise is a plank, a plank with a break dance. We're turning it into a break dance. So, um, you guys step, step. Over just for a second. So you're in a plank position. You're gonna step out to the side with the outside leg, and then you're gonna kick through. So then you come back to the center, and then you step out and kick through. So it looks like this. Okay? We're gonna do that 10 times total. You wanna try it? Okay. Okay. Actually, how about y'all take turns? Mm -hmm. So, Ethan, you do five, and then Julia does five. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. Step out, kick through. Step out, kick through. Out, kick through. Out, kick through. Good. One more. Out, kick through. Good. It takes some getting used to stepping out first. Step out, kick through. Good. Out. You got it down. Natural born break dancer right here. One more. Good. Okay, we're going to do those exercises two more times through. So, sea turtle, here we go. On our stomachs. And go. Out, in. Out, in. Three, four, going to ten, five, six. Really lift that upper body, lower body. Nine, ten. Good. Arm circles, 20 each direction. Keep those arms super straight and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, reverse. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to the single leg, dead left. Here we go. Eight total. You're doing this? Mm -hmm. And go. One, two, three. Four, really tighten your core. Five, six, seven, eight. If you need to hold on to something too while you're learning it, that's totally fine. Other side. One, two, three. It also helps if you slightly bend the leg that you're standing on. Seven, one more. Eight. Good. Plank, break dance. He's in. Start us off. All right. So remember, step out, kick through. One. Oh. Yes. Step out, kick through. Two. Step out, kick through. Three. Step out, kick through. Four. Step out, kick through. Five. Juliet. <laughs> Juliet. No. There you go. No. <laughs> so, one. Two. Three, you have two more at home. Oh, I was oh, right. <laughs> Step out with the outside leg, good. And good, we have one more round of that. Okay, you can stay down. Right here. Let's go to the sea turtles, back on your tummies. And out, in, out, in. Try and lift your arms off the ground. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
Nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Arm circles. Twenty each direction. Make them straight, strong. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, deadlift. Last one of these, single leg, seesaw, and go. One, two, three. I like to put my hands in the front. Six, two more. Seven, eight. Other side. One, two. Really tighten that core. Three, four, five, six. Two more. Seven, eight. Where do you feel those? Right here. Right in the back. Hamstrings. Glutes, plate, break dance, Juliet, start us off. Oh, okay. Here we go at home. Step out, kick through. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Keep it going. And six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. That's a fun one. I really like that one. Show that one to your parents. See if they can do it. Takes a little coordination. Okay, now we're going to move into our cardio portion. We're going to do two different exercises, again, as normal. We're going to do something called a jack press. So, it's jumping jacks and you're pressing something above your head. So, either grab a dumbbell and you're going to hold it on its ends, or you can grab your basketball since you're working with that this week or you know, whatever else you have at home. You can grab a book and press it. You can grab a pillow. You choose. The next thing we're going to do for our cardio, we're going to do some side kicks. So you're putting all of your weight in one leg and you're kicking to the side. Lead with that heel too. So try and flex that foot. Okay? All right. So let's get going. I'm going to set our timer. Grab some water if you need really quick. Okay, so we're starting with our cardio portion. Um, first exercise is jack press. Again, you should have grabbed an object from home, like a book or a pillow or a dumbbell or your basketball that you're using. Okay, starting the clock, doing this for 20 seconds, and go. Jumping jacks with the press. So. Pressing something above your head as you're, yeah. Actually, I do the opposite. That's okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we're gonna do side kicks. So get your, put your object down. Starting in about three seconds. Kick this way, guys. Yeah. And go. Kick. Stay on that same leg for the whole 20 seconds. So remember what leg you're kicking with. And next go round, you're gonna kick with the other side. Whoa, that was me. It's great for balance as well. Three, two, one. Awesome, pick up your object that you're gonna do the jack press with. Ready, and go. I like to press up as I'm jumping out, but the kids are doing opposite, so you can do it either way. Five seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> Sounds like you're hyperventilating. Okay, kick with the other leg in three, two, one. Next time we'll start the same direction. 
Oh! And then <laughs> you kick, and then... Almost done. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Heart rate should be getting up there. Grab your object. Jack press. Just go step for a little bit. And go. to our basketball drills. The first thing that we're going to do is they're going to throw the ball up, see how many times they can clap before catching it. Can we get out of this circle? Yeah, you can get out of there. That's for, that's for the next drill. Okay. Yep. Okay. So let's see. Throw it up as high as you can. Clap and catch. Count your claps. See if you can beat my kids. How many times? I'm not sure. Six. How many times? Eight. I'm not sure. Count. Oh, Julia has eight. Sounds that was, like ten. That was ten? Yeah. How are you doing at home? Try and beat 10 claps before you catch it. Make sure to do this outside. <laughs> you don't want to hit your ceiling in the house. What's your top number? Eight, I think 12. 12 and eight. Good job. For the next drill, set up a boundary. So I set up four cones. Um, you only need one ball for this. So Juliet's gonna set her ball down. There's gonna be one person that's it. The person that's it has to dribble the whole time while the other per while they're trying to tag the other person. So it's just dribble, dribble tag. Um, you'll see how it goes. All right, ready and go. Okay, so uh, he tagged Juliet, so now. 
Once you tag someone, that person's it. You also have to stay within the boundary. So ask your mom or dad or your sibling, your brother or sister at home to play this with you. Because you definitely need another person. Are you guys actually trying to get away from each other? Yeah. It's a really small space. <laughs> we might need to make the space bigger. Yeah. Yeah. If you had a whole driveway to use, our car, is, our truck is kind of in the way. That would be ideal if you could use a whole driveway. Yes. <laughs> All right, try this at home and let us know how you like it. Again, you might need a little bit more space than they have. Does it count if she didn't have the ball? No, you ha it does not count. If the person does not have the ball and they tag you, then you are not, you are not tagged. So does that count? If you, if you uh, touch the ball? Yeah. Sure. He's getting, getting smart. Okay, they're gonna continue playing. You guys at home have an awesome day. See you tomorrow.